A young father remains in jail tonight after dropping his infant son on his head. But deputies say it was his action after the fall that landed him in jail. News 13's Evan Donovan joins us live from our Greenville News Center. And Evan, first, how is the child doing? Well, according to the latest reports from sources, the baby boy is in critical condition in the ICU. And because it's so soon after the injury, it could be touch and go for a while. In this home on Godfrey Town Road in Woodruff, Tuesday afternoon, 20-year-old father of two, Brandon Osmond, was feeding his one-year-old daughter. Deputies say that's when Osmond told them his 11-week-old son fell from his hands and hit his head on the floor. Osmond told deputies he gave the child Tylenol and iced his head, but did not take him to the hospital until eight to nine hours later. Due to the fact that he was injured while in the care of the father, and the father waited so long to get medical treatment uh, for the child, we uh, felt that that met the uh, standards for a charge of child neglect. According to warrants, the child's mother, Anissa Ortiz, was home but sleeping after working third shift the night before. She told deputies that several hours later the child's head was swollen and that he was vomiting all of his formula every time she tried to feed him. Finally, around 8 p.m., the couple brought the child to the hospital. Anytime your child is injured, especially a young child, you know, please err on the side of caution and get that child to be seen by a doctor as soon as possible because you just never know. Deputies say the child has suffered a fractured skull and is having seizures, and it's unclear how severe the injuries are at this point. The deputies also tell us that Osment gave them some conflicting statements during questioning, so they've ordered some more tests from doctors and are looking into further charges on Osment pending the outcome of those tests. They're hoping to reveal whether or not the boy's injuries came just from an accidental drop or possibly something further. Reporting live from the Greenville News Center, I'm Evan Donovan, News 13.